Hi everyone. My name is Professor Onita Basu, and today I'm going to work through a percent removal calculation. So I'm just going to write out the question for you. Right. And so one thing to keep in mind is when you see percent removal or when you say the term efficiency, you're usually looking at something that's going to be a percentage value that you're calculating. So efficiency and percent removal are the thing to keep in mind when you want to get that percent sign in your answer. So let's look at the formula for that. So to calculate the removal efficiency, I hope I should have enough room for this. which is usually represented by R, R like removal. It's just in minus out divided by in times 100%. So now we can just plug and play, as I like to call it, our numbers. So let's look at those. So R is 195 milligrams per liter minus 82 milligrams per liter, right? Because influent is in and effluent means out divided by 195 milligrams per liter times 100 percent or just times 100 and that's the percent that we get and then when you put the numbers in your calculator you will get 57.9 percent so one thing I wanted to remind everyone of and we'll maybe look at a at another example just to see what I mean in a minute is to just keep in mind to remember that the in and out or influent and effluent ah i forgot a little f there there we go effluent uh, must be in the same units Right. So in this example, both the influent and the effluent are in milligrams per liter. So it's always just a good idea to check in case maybe one was in grams per liter, and then you'd have to do a conversion to put it into milligrams per liter. Okay, that's it for that example, and I'll see you in another example soon.